Well, today we got another showdown, which I wasn't expecting. It's Newcastle versus Spurs, and we're not going to be reviewing Amoron, but we do have Benton Kerr in the club, ready to review. Are you tired of coming up against absolutely insane teams? Well, today I've got a solution for you. Welcome to LootBar.gg, the fastest, safest, and most reliable, as well as cheapest coins I have seen for FC24. You can receive your coins as fast as 30 minutes, and also they offer full refunds if you're not happy with the product. Here is me making an order of 100,000 coins. As you can see, as we go across to the game, I've only got 489,000 coins. I also got a message from the customer service team and they told me exactly what I need to do to get my coins. And there we have it, guys. Just like that, in about 20 minutes, I have received my 100,000 coins. Not only that, they offer 24-7 customer support, so if you do need help with your order, you are in good hands. You can also trust LootBar.gg with a 4.6 rating on Trustpilot and absolutely amazing reviews, which you can see right now on your screen. So if you if you want to upgrade your team on FC24, make sure you go to lootbar.gg, link in the description. So guys, actually quite an interesting card. Six foot two, medium high, four star skill moves, five star weak foot. And for me, five star weak foot on midfielders is absolutely clutch on this year's game. This card's going to cost you an 87 and 85 rated squad with no informs, which is very, very nice. If he gets the plus two, you're looking at 85 pace and shooting, 87 passing, 89 for his dribbling. 86 defending and physical, which makes him a great all-rounder. He has got long ball pass. He has got Tiki Taka plus and Bruiser plus. This one is terrible. You can say in the comments that this one's good. I'm telling you it isn't. Intercept and block. First touch, aerial and relentless. He can play sentiment and CDM. And he's got really, really well balanced in games. He's got good shooting across the board. Long shot's a little bit low, but still good finishing, attack positioning and shot power. With very good volleys and okay penalties. The passing for him is very, very nice as well. 87 vision, 90 short pass, and 88 long pass. Of course, getting a boost there with the basic. Are we going to keep that on him? Let's find out. He's got 80 agility and balance with 83 reactions, which is a little bit low. 89 ball control and dribbling with 90 composure, which is very, very nice. And the dribbling stats for a box-to-box -box slash, slash CDM, which I think he is, you know, box-to-box, -box, more so a CDM, I would say. He's got very good defense, defensive stats as well in the right areas. 87 interceptions. 84 defensive awareness and 85 stand tackle. Slide and head and accuracy don't really matter. He's got 81 jumping as well with aerial. 94 stamina, 79 strength and 85 aggression. Chem style for him. I actually really like the basic, guys. I think it's a really good boost. You know, plus four to the shot power up to 90. 92 attack positioning. Little boost to the pace, so up to 85 pace now. 91 vision, 94 short pass, 92 long pass with 79 curve. 84 agility. Goes up to 93 both for his ball control and dribbling, which is mad for him. Gets 88 defense awareness and 89 stand tackle with 86 slide. And also gets 83 strength. You can also see we've got an Evo in the team right now. And you can see who that is. Uh, but I think for Rodrigo Benton Kerr, I think I'm going to play him on the right-hand side like that. I'm going to get into a few games. I'm going to see what he can do. Okay, guys, this is actually the second game with Benton Kerr. The first game didn't record for whatever reason. Really, really annoying. Um, in the first game, quite impressed with him. I think he definitely is a defensive midfielder. Um, but he does have good attacking qualities. You know, he's very good at building up the play because of the tiki tacker. Unlucky. He, he offers great ability coming forward because of tiki tacker. That, you know, I, I love Ander Herrera's card for, like, very similar reasons. I play Ander Herrera as my, like, defensive midfielder on my road to glory. And what he offers is just brilliant because of the, the tiki taka stuff. We gotta go one nil up here, guys. And it's gonna be an assist for Rodrigo. Nice. Very nice. Here he is again, driving into the space here. We're gonna look for that pass into Rashford. Bit dangerous there. And that was not a good pass either. But obviously, of course, that wasn't him. He has to be played as a defensive midfielder, guys. He has to be. Look at that pass there. Honestly, beautiful. Oh, that's poor though. Of course it is. It's Rashford. What, what does Rashford do that's any good at the moment in real life? Easy, easy. Can we get to that? No. As you can see, though, guys, I'm playing him as a box-to-box. -box. I, I definitely prefer the idea of having him a bit deeper because of what he offers defensively is really, really solid. And I really trust his passing out from the back, which I think is very, very crucial for this game. This guy's annoying. And, you know, Br Bruiser is, is a terrible playstyle plus. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, 
Oh, he feels a bit heavy, though. I mean, what is that, guys? That, that should just be me getting the ball back there, no problem. But it's, it's positions like that, right? When you're kind of like, you're under a heavy press, which this guy is putting me under. I literally can't get out of it at the moment. Um, yeah, when you're under a heavy press, you can trust his tiki taka to help you get out of that dangerous press. Can you find that too? Yes, he can. That's a good ball, actually. Rashford. We might have to look for Benton Kerr again here. Nice. Nice. That is the value of Tiki Taka right there, guys. That's me forcing the ball into him a bit too much. But the power of Tiki Taka, I'm hoping you can see. Every, every time I play this game at a minute, guys, it's just counter, 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 counter. I never concede any other goals at the moment. It's really, really annoying. How are you guys finding the game after the patch? Please do let me know in the comment section. Because I think it's absolutely abysmal. That's nice. That was nice. Here is Rashford. Oh, nice Benton Kerr. Find it. That's it. That's it. Oh. I can't believe I've not scored there. Do you guys see how powerful Tiki Taka is now, though? I mean, look. There we go. Another assist for Benton Kerr in this game. It's all coming from the Tiki Taka and how you, like, you can find the, the hardest passes. He does feel a bit delayed, though. You know, you kind of need to get the ball into him and release it quickly. And sometimes it doesn't allow you to release it quickly. Like that there. Like, I, I don't know why I can't release the ball there. Because I'm trying to pass it first time. But for whatever reason, look at this stupid game. Nice. This game's becoming a bit of a joke, isn't it, at the moment? It's a good ball as well. Shame we couldn't win that. Uh, try and track back with him here. I feel like we've done quite well. He does he, he does feel a bit heavy though, guys. No doubt about it. It's, it's all about utilizing Tiki Taka on a card like this. So if, if you know how to use it, which is it's really it's really, really good under pressure. Really good under pressure. That's where you want to use it the most. Like here. You can kind of wait for the pass. That's a nice pass as well. Shame Yashin's tracking that. We have got the foul anyway. Um, but yeah, under the high pressure situations, you see like there, you're under a little bit of press. He can find the passes so easily. That's a good tackle. That's a really good tackle. Haven't really seen much from him defensively, though. I'm sure it's because I've got 71 depth on. I'm sure it is. That's why I get hit on the break so much. Winners, winners, winners. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so, do you know what? As a CDM, I think this card's actually a bit sick. Oh, it's good running from him there, too. Oh, so unlucky. Yeah, so ultimately, guys, a very, very heavy card. He, he is heavy, but he is very, very good. Yes, yeah, do you see what I mean? Tiki Taka is so overpowered. It, it, it really is a great play style that nobody uses. Go on, Benton Kerr. Benton Kerr's in. Full roll. Yeah, there we go. He scored now as well, guys. Brilliant. Okay then, guys, my review is in on Benton Kerr. Do I think you should complete this card? I actually do. What CDMs are you probably used to playing with on this game? Joshua Kimmich. Um, who, who else is a really, really good CDM? Erbadov, if you've been lucky enough to pack her. You know, can't taste flashback. Players like that are very, very good on this game. I'm going to take a look at a few to kind of give you uh, a kind of understanding of what I'm talking about. You probably use Kante. Maybe you're lucky enough to have Royce. Maybe you're lucky enough to have Rodri. He's got a similar issue to Benton Kerr, though, as you can see there with the playstyle plus of Bruiser. Maybe you've got this Rodri. Rodri is a very good CDM on this game. I admit that. Absolutely, I concede that. If you've got Petit, he's more of a centre-back. Yaya Torre, you're just jammy. Uh, SEN's a very good one. But I actually think, if I was to pick between Benton Kerr and SEN, I think I'm going to take Benton Kerr. And do you want to know why? It's this playstyle right here. I cannot tell you how valuable this is as a deep line playmaker, which I think is what Benton Kerr is. He's very, very good defensively. Not the best at attacking. He's got okay attacking stats, but he's not the best attacking wise, right? What Tiki Tak is so good for is that kind of pivot that sits really deep, can receive the ball, play the ball off first time. It's so helpful against the press on this game, which is really, really, really hard to play against at the moment. Tiki Taka Plus is the counter press perfect play style. Of course, you've got press proven as well. But what Tiki Taka Plus allows you to do, I really recommend going and looking at the gameplay. 
for Benton Kerr to kind of understand what I mean. But deep line playmaker role for Benton Kerr, if you need something like that, I would say absolutely this is close to a 10 out of 10 card. But I think if you're going to play him as a box to box, there are tons of better options. He feels quite heavy. His dribbling isn't bad, but he takes a bit of time to get going. Uh, his arm dribbling is poor. His left stick dribbling is really poor as well. So you need to be careful of kind of expecting much from his, his left stick dribbling or general dribbling because you're not going to get that from him. Even though, you know, the dribbling stat on his base card is actually the highest stat, be very, very careful. It's not that good, which also plays into the fact that I think he suits more of that CDM role. And yeah, he's got Bruiser Plus. It didn't come up once for me. It's not very good. You will not get much use out of that. What's also great about this card is, of course, Intercept. First Touch really does play into the, the kind of Tiki Taka Plus as well. This card is great at receiving the ball, you know, under a high press. Being able to drive into space because of the first touch or play a pass out because of Tiki Taka Plus. Aerial doesn't feel very good on him. Relentless is a great addition, guys. I think this is a card that you should complete. I don't think you should complete Almiron. But... I would say this is definitely a defensive midfielder over a box-to-box. -box. So be very, very careful about the way you play with him. And you are getting a good card. But as I say, don't expect much from him going forward or as a box-to-box -box midfielder. I really like him, but has to be played as a pivot. And yeah, I think he's worth an 87 and 85, especially for a stab or a gamble at him going up to an 89. I think it's a good card, guys. I do. I think it's a good card and I think you should all consider it. As I said, as a CDM, probably like a 9.2 out of 10. As a box-to-box -box midfielder or slash attacking midfielder, I'm probably going for like a 6 or 7 out of 10. So there's a big discrepancy there, guys. I'm going to keep him in my team and I'm going to use him as my CDM going forward because I really value Tiki Taka Plus, as I've told you so many times, as my ring light just drops down. Um, but yeah, check this card out. Let me know what you think to it. Let me know what you think of the gameplay currently as well in the comment section. Guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, subscribe to the But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.